and is for the NXT Women's Championship. Here comes the prodigy, Roxanne Perez. Before she turned 21 years old, she had already won the first ever NXT Women's Breakout Tournament and the NXT Women's Tag Team Titles. And she has a bright, bright future. Perez is so beloved because she works relentlessly to make her dreams come true. There is no quit in this young woman. Just endless fight. Get your cameras ready. Tiffany Stratton is here. Beauty, grace, athleticism, and skill. Tiffy has it all. Tiffany Stratton, one of the quickest learners in NXT history. She made her NXT debut within weeks of entering the Performance Center, becoming NXT Women's Champion just a year and a half later. Already possessing athleticism on another level, Stratton takes every opportunity to get better. Scary how impressive she is as an in-ring competitor this early in her career. Introducing the challenger from Laredo, Texas, Roxanne Perez. And her opponent from Pryor, Minnesota, the NXT Women's Champion, Tiffany. Desire and resolve will be tested tonight, all for the right to claim the championship. Starting things off with Tiffany Stratton, a woman who truly enjoys the finer things in life. Tiffany Stratton demands the best, but I'll tell you what, privilege can't buy you cleverness and it can't buy you talent. From where I'm sitting, she has both in spades, not to mention a very healthy dose of ambition. We've seen that combination take superstars far before. Maybe it'll do the same for her. And she'll be taking on the seemingly endless perseverance of Roxanne Perez. We've seen what Perez is capable of and what she's able to withstand. At this point in her career, I think she's earned the nickname The Prodigy. Ooh, DDT. Into the pin attempt. And it's a kick out at one for the defending champion. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Uh-oh. Oh, no! I think there's going to be some second guessing about trying that move again. Tiffany Stratton comes from privilege, as we know, but she won't be able to buy her way into victory here. I dispute the idea that she needs to. The two things that will win Stratton this match are her meanness and her competitive streak. You can't teach those, and you damn sure can't buy them. Just dropped her like she was nothing. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. And 
And Roxanne had it scouted. Oh, man, inverted backbreaker. Out. Chap in the leg. DDT. Oh, foot just stomping down. The champ getting put to the test here. Perez fought tough on that one. Just getting all twisted up. Got Stratton cinched in. Russian leg sweep. into the ring. Scoop slam, but from behind. Inverted DDT. Ouch. Oh, oh man, by the hair. Hair whip. She goes to the outside now. I think she's starting to get worried. She's got to be careful here. The referee will count her out. He decides. Jeez. Oh, that was just malicious. Just disrespectful. And a series of vicious stomps. Fireman's carry position across the shoulders. A rolling fireman's carry. Stratton cutting her opponent down to size. He gets tossed back into the mat. Oh my gosh. The challenger is in some big trouble. Truly fighting to the last breath, but we might be coming up on that soon. Drop kick in the corner. Perfectly executed. Momentum really on Stratton's side now. Stratton showing that compact. Up high. Big splash. That's got to be it. Two. She gets the shoulder up. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Escapes in a nick of time. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Uh-oh, 
submission move. Fujiwara on bar. Is she gonna... Rolls through, a clever escape and a knee. Oh, she's looking to put her opponent to sleep here. Oh, no, a neck breaker. Roxanne is being overwhelmed. And Perez is seeking salvation. <laughs> Roxanne Perez looking for Griff Pop Rocks. Go see a new champ. Whoa. Very few superstars possess the fortitude to do what we just witnessed. Very few? How about almost none? This match just went to the next level. Confident. Roxanne Perez looking for Griff Pop Rocks. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm is shifted. The rain continues, the champ kicks out. I knew it would take more than that to put the champ away. But just how much more is needed? The end could still be right around the corner. And that result leaves everyone shocked. But will the shoulder come up if that move hits one more time? Up high. Uh-oh, got snatched up here. Slam. We are seeing absolutely no quit from these women. They've each come too far to surrender now. Uh oh, submission move. Fujiwara on bar. I don't know what choice she has. Rolls through, a clever escape, and a knee. She's got an answer for that. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Yeah. Arse forearm draped across the middle rope. And down. Oof. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Hammering down on the knee. They are fading off the WWE fans, now pinning the arm down, and... Goodness gracious. And Stratton is showcasing her arsenal. And I don't see Stratton slowing down whatsoever. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. First. Stratton grounds their opponent while she ascends up high. What a move by Stratton. The champ has this one in hand now. Two. She is standing tall after defending her title in this one. What a reassuring victory for her tonight. The champ proving why she's at the top once again.